go. Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I've got an old MRE for you. Maybe someday I'll have some new ones. Maybe I'll have some international ones sometime. Who knows, those things are really expensive. But this is everybody's favorite, chili and macaroni. This is a reduced sodium one again, so it's going to be bland. If you look there, it's got a 2287 on it. I believe that's October 13th of 2012, so six years old. Uh, peelable seal. We'll see how that works. Sometimes they don't always work. Yeah, like today. That's your main. Got everybody's favorite toaster pastries, brown sugar cinnamon. They got a 2289 on them. So if 87 is the 13th, he's got to be like the 15th or something of 2012. Got your uh, flameless ration heater. Of course, you got your crackers. You got your jelly. Apple jelly. Apple jelly this time. See, I got it wrong the first time. Two of those. Got your accessory packet. And, of course, you got your six-year-old Tootsie Bar. I actually have doubles of this particular one with the 2287 on it. I have one here that I already heated up. And there's the 2287, just so nobody can say, oh, you're eating a fresher one or anything silly like that. I just heated it up in a pan for, or in a pot of water for time's sake. We're going to try that. And also, somebody, I'm sure somebody really actually wants to see how one of these works today, so... We're going to do something kind of silly. We're going to take a little bit of salt here because that will help activate it. Throw some salt in there. Probably overfilled it. Yes, it did. And we're going to see if it can heat up my uh, toaster pastries. Probably not, but eh, it's worth a shot, right? Oop, I can smell it. It activated. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get warm. Take this thing, shove it inside of our little box here, like so. And it says a rock or something, so this is my friend. He is going to be a rock today. Anyway, let's cut this thing open. Oh, first, I mean, accessory packet. Got your good quality plastic spoon. You got your Papa's Perfect salt-free seasoning, because this is reduced sodium. You got your toilet paper napkin, whatever you want to use it for, and you got your pepper. Pepper. Get this thing open. Ah, almost lost it there. Oh yeah, that's my spot. Looks to have uh, the little tiny square pieces of meat, similar to the uh, spaghetti. These are actually pretty big macaroni noodles, and it's really hot. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's actually not as bland as the reduced spaghetti, but. It's also not that good either. So we're going to 
Hit it with our Papa's Perfect Seasoning, and then I have a real treat for everybody coming up. So I'm out of here. And this is where we get make things really interesting. Since this is bland and it's supposed to be chili mac, which is usually spicy, I have some of this. Pappy's Happy Tears. It's like a pepper sauce. And I have some of this. This is the Carolina Reaper. You guys can read that this is the real stuff this is hot so we are going to do a little spicing up of our foods today whoa too much uh, that's the reaper sauce pretty red. It's very hot. I already know this. We don't even need all that Wow, we only need a little bit We're gonna mix that up in there real good Hopefully this doesn't make me cry on camera Now we're gonna go for this one's way milder. This is a chipotle pepper sauce. It's pretty good. I actually like this one a lot. too much again. You can see that it's way thinner than the reaper sauce. We're just going to put some of that in there. Our toilet paper here. We might be needing this after the reaper sauce. <laughs> and now we're going to give them both a go. Mm-hmm. That's hot. It that was not a good idea. Oh, God. Oh, man. It makes it better, but that is some hot stuff right there. That's a lot of flavor. But man, that is hot. If I don't finish it all, I'm not going to eat it, so. It's hot. That's no joke right there. All right, now on to the other kind. Oh my God. Oh man, it's so hot. This is very good. That is very hot. This one has a lot, the Pappy's Happy Tears, has a lot of real smoky flavor. It's got more spices in it and stuff. It's a really good mild pepper sauce. This on the other hand is exactly what it is. It's Carolina Reaper Mash and it is just hot. It doesn't really have that much flavor. It's just a really potent hot sauce. One little drop will do you. If you want to make seven or nine warm chili, this is where it's at. And 
Nope. That was a Chili Mac. Pretty good, nonetheless. Let's see. This is pretty freaking hot. Uh, it got warm. It didn't blow up like it's supposed to. And probably didn't make the Pop Tart very warm either. I have. I don't think this Pop Tart's going to be in condition to do much either. one I had was hard as a brick. This one, you know, maybe because I warmed it up, it's a little bit softer. This one separated. Also, the other one did not. It still has that old flour taste. Very chalky, like the flour wants to separate from the dough and it wants to turn into dust. Just very stale. Doesn't really taste like a whole lot of anything anymore. After about six years, it seems like that the cinnamon and the sugar maybe it ferments or something. It just has a really off-putting taste. I don't like it. I'm not going to eat the rest of it. On to our next thing. Our crackers. Hmm. Interesting. The date on the crackers is different from the date on the uh, main. It's a 2290, so it's got to be October 16th of 2012. Things are crumbly, crumbly. Well, one came out pretty good. Has some kind of like a weird sheen on the top of it. That's strange. Got very bland, no salt. I have a feeling that these are going to taste like some type of laundry detergent like the cracker itself not the not the jelly just I'm pretty sure that the cracker is going to taste like cheap laundry detergent crumbly crumbly six years old this is where it's at right here the apple jelly probably one of the best things in any in any MRE those crackers Held out better than the last six-year-old crackers I ate. They actually don't taste like cheap laundry detergent. I'm impressed. I like the jelly a lot. This thing stopped already. It's not hot. I got steaming. Ooh, it stinks still though. Mm. I have something else special too. I picked these up for 49 cents. It's like a fruit bar. I'm pretty sure that there are MREs that come with some variation of this in it. So. I just seen it and I was like, you know, let's put that in a video. 
Oh yeah. Looks like a piece of fruit leather, just way thicker. This one's a blueberry and hemp seed. Smells nice. It's not as hard as fruit leather. It's really quite squishy. Let me try it. Hmm. Right off the bat, you definitely get the blueberries. It's got to be like made with apple puree and some other stuff in there also. Because I can really taste apple in there too. Um, the hemp seeds give it kind of like a little, little crunch, I guess, when you're biting on it. But it's still, for the most part, spongy. Got another one here. Strawberry banana. Let's see what that one's like. Let's see if that's the same or not. More reddish in color. More reddish in color than the blueberry one, I guess. A little bit. It's uh, not as squishy as the blueberry one either. It smells like strawberry. I wish I wouldn't have torn the ingredients up. Yeah, it's got raisins, rolled oats, dried banana puree. Corn flakes, barley malt, wheat gluten, strawberry fruit, apple juice, and some maltodextrins and contains wheat, may contain peanuts, tree nuts, and soy. Product of Germany. Mm. I like the strawberry one a lot more than I like the blueberry one, to be honest. Mm. Let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, yeah. The last time I opened up a six-year-old MRE, I had Tootsie Roll in there. This time, I had Tootsie Roll in there. I don't really care for Tootsie Rolls, but just to say I did it, six-year-old Tootsie Roll. Would you like one, hon? Yeah. And then it's all hard. Guys, I got some of that hot sauce on my finger, and I freaking ate it with that fruit bar. Now my mouth is on fire. It'll be interesting with this Tootsie Roll. This is a hard Tootsie Roll. Let's see if it'll snap in half. Sometimes they snap in half. Oh, no, it bends. It's not It's, it's not pretty that bad. good, man. Oh, oh it's still a tooth killer. Yeah, I don't like Tootsie Rolls, so she can have that. Well, if you don't want to get no backlash, you didn't even eat the Tootsie Roll. Well, here's a Tootsie Roll, guys. Yum, yum. All right, and that's about it. In summary, six-year-old, uh, six-year-old chili and macaroni. Way better. With a little hot sauce. If you want to cry, use this one. You just want some flavor, try this one. All right. Until next time, have a great life.